Okay, so let's talk about color factors again. This is cinnamon. No, this is cocoa, and she is a cinnamon. Cinnamon does not change the patterning of the bird. She has a normal patterning. The difference is that instead of having, let's see if we can spot one of these guys over here. Where'd he go? Instead of having normal black on her wings and tail, she has cocoa, a chocolate color. She's like, this, this gene is almost like the, the chocolate lab version of Labrador Retrievers. See her sitting there next to Porky. She still loves him. They're up next. She molted, so her tail's gone. But <clears throat> and you can see all the pin feathers sticking out of the top of her head. But anyway, so she is a gray. Um, but she's a gray with, that expresses cinnamon. Now I have another gray right over. Where'd he go? Right there. He is gray. That is not cinnamon. And you can see he has, as he stretches, he has the black tail feathers and the black barring on the back of his head. So the cinnamon changes that black to cocoa colored, a chocolate color. Where is she? There she is. Okay, so the the um, so it's a color changing. It also fades out the body color somewhat. <coughs> um, a good a good fading out. You can see she's actually pretty light, um, and her throat spots are chocolate. Her tail feathers are chocolate. Her barring on her head is chocolate. It's all chocolate. There's no black on this bird. Where did she go? There she is. Um, so. The genetics on this is complicated. Uh, cinnamon is a sex-linked mutation. That means that the fathers most easily pass it on to their daughters. The only way a hen can pass on um, cinnamon is if she's bred to a cinnamon male or otherwise she will not pass it on. So, for instance, these two um, are a pair, and I'm going to breathe them together. As far as I know, Porky has no cinnamon in him at all, so none of their babies will come out cinnamon. However, the males will be split to cinnamon. The females won't even be split. They won't have any sign of it at all, because it's a sex-linked mutation, and the males are the ones that pass it on. So even though their mother is a cinnamon, they, they will have no cinnamon in them at all. The males won't show cinnamon. None of their babies are going to look cinnamon. They'll all have black. Um, but, uh, as I said, the males will be split to cinnamon. So if I was looking to get some cinnamon babies, I would take those males and breed them to uh, an unrelated cinnamon hen. Um, and because I know they're split, then I would get 50% of the babies would be cinnamon. So it's sex linked. Much easier to pass it on from the male. In fact, if you have a male with cinnamon and you breed him to a normal hen, all of his daughters will come out cinnamon, even though the hen has nothing to do with it. She could be any color you want, but the babies would be cinnamon. So, sex length mutation, it doesn't change patterning, only color, um, turns all the black to chocolate brown, and um, it fades out the body color a good 40-50%. See how much lighter she is than, say, uh, Gray over there in the corner. He's, a, he's actually probably a mauve, but it's so hard to tell the difference. Um, but he's much darker in color on his body than she is. So that is cinnamon.